All right, tonight, Help Me Hank, revealing new information on the man police call the shady car salesman. We first told you last week about Ricardo Perez, who's accused of scamming dozens of people, taking their money and stealing, selling either stolen cars or getting clients into fraudulent lease deals. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live. And Hank, you're hearing from more of this man's apparent victims. And Kimberly, the list is long. In fact, police believe there could be up to 100 victims here in Metro Detroit. Perez right now being held right here behind me in the Wayne County Jail in downtown Detroit. But as you will see, investigators from all over Metro Detroit want Perez to answer some tough questions. Well, we've known Ricky forever. Uh, he deals with a lot of our travel baseball team. Everybody gets cars off them. Christabel Cabrera still can't believe it happened to her. She's one of the growing list of victims of this man. Ricardo Perez seen here in a recent mugshot. The man investigators say used his connections and his friendships to take advantage of people. It was more hurtful than anything. Betrayal, I guess. He took down, he took down a whole community. You've known him for so long. Yeah, he took down an entire community. He took down, like I said, our travel baseball team. He got, I think there was eight total parents on there and they trusted him. Police say Perez was fired last year from his job as a salesman here at Dick Scott Chrysler in Plymouth, but he kept selling cars. He kept taking money. No one knew he wasn't affiliated with the dealership and some of the cars he was selling were stolen. He pocketed the money, so by the time Ally Fraud Department got to us, it was too late. Then I find out that he took out a 2022 Dodge Ram on top of my Jeep that I had no clue I even had to my name. Right now, Perez being held here at the Wayne County Jail. He's facing charges in Lincoln Park later this month, but we've also learned that investigations are underway in Livonia, in Plymouth, the city of Detroit, and in Macomb County. If you were taken by Perez, you should contact police immediately. Perez was transferred here from Lincoln Park to downtown Detroit in the jail last week. But as I mentioned, investigators have a lot of questions for Perez. He's due in court at the end of this month in Lincoln Park, but will likely then next face charges in Livonia. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Hank, thanks.